hello everyone so this is the second part of that of this design and i'm going to do the coloring process here but for working i'm going to make it a smaller in size so it will be easier but before starting the coloring process i am going to expand everything so there is no stroke left or there is no text editable so something like this and it is not showing perfectly expanded but don't worry i can simply make it none and it is not making any changes here so first step is i am going to make it like i need to decide how many colors i want to do it so i'm going to just make it two color for now and that is going to be the for now i'm making it red and blue but i will make it basically red and white so this is the first step to just color everything that is in normal color i am just going to make it easiest way so i'm just going to color them like this and that is good so okay not that one maybe this one okay so this is the main coloring process first is color the flat layers so this is the flat layers like these are single color design so i can simply coloring them color them in this way and no problem in that so i'm going to make this two in this blue then this center one in red maybe this two in blue just to make the variation keep the variation here so that is fine this is not the important part or this is not no problem here but okay so which what part is this maybe this is the part of the gun here so i need to hide that part i'm going to select that go inside the transparency and here i want to just hide this one this is a extra detail i don't need it so this is how it is looking now for coloring a 3d graphic like this you can see there are shadows there are highlights so i am going to simply do it in a way and that is the perfect way but you have to be you have to focus here a bit i'm going to simply take a rectangle here make whatever color you want so i'm going to make it red for now and then i'm going to select this red shape and then this hand shape not the gun so this hand and red is selected let's press shift m shift m is for shape builder and press alt to delete this part so this is how it is looking it is not very perfect as you can see some part of that is visible through the gun but that we hide in the original design so for fixing that i need to select this red shape cut it now i'm going to select this hand group and isolate that by double clicking and press ctrl b here so with ctrl b it is now pasted in the back and as you can see whatever we pasted here that is now in the background and that whatever we placed in the transparency that is also applied and you can see here is a mistake so let's try to fix that and by mistake i mean this should be red so cut it ctrl b paste it back so don't worry how it is looking right now cut paste it back so that is good now isolate that so this is how it is looking and not a problem and for this area for this gun part i want to make it i want to do it in that same way so i am in that group inside that group and here i am going to take a rectangle of course this one in blue color and then i am going to select this blue and then this gun press ctrl m sorry shift m then press ctrl and then click on this extra part it is going to delete but you can see there are some extra areas like this part should not be here so i'm going to delete that part of course not this one okay let's not delete that part because then this part will be invisible on black so let's bring them back but for here i want to erase this part that is not important so i can erase that and of course this part so this is how my this part of the graphic is ready right now but you can see there can be some problem with this hiding 
and you can see this part is overlapping here a bit but let's not worry about that we can simply select this blue cut it sorry before that select this blue to cut it then double click to come inside this group and then here i'm going to select all and then press ctrl b so that is going to be pasted in the background and don't worry about this part it is going to be okay so this is how it is looking right now and that is good so for this flag color right now for this flag one okay so I, we are using like red and blue so for this skull one i will make the headphone part red helmet part red and the skull in blue so for doing that i need to go inside the group here so where i can select them individually so this is the helmet this is the skull first step is i am going to create a rectangle for my skull and this one i am going to make it red okay not red this one blue then select this skull and then press shift m erase the extra part you can see this is visible right now don't worry just cut it and then select this skull group then press ctrl b and everything is looks good that is fine so for this part of the graphic again for this helmet part i need to do that same thing so i'm going to create a rectangle here just make it red send that to back and then select this one press shift m and then it is delete that part so this is how it is looking now this is good for this design is looking good if i just put a black background you can see you will see that it is looking good for this flag part it is not feasible so we need to change that one's color but for the flag one i just wanted to do it in a different way so if i make it just red it is going to look like this that is not a problem but there is one more way we can do that like the same way we are coloring this part so we can simply select this black sorry this flag and i am going to make it red sorry black i am going to keep it black the original color and then whatever color i want i will take a rectangle of that so the rule is very simple whatever color you want to do take a rectangle of that that color and then erase the extra part so this is how it is looking now it is making a bit complex in this area don't worry just select this red color and this red from here you are you can look here that what is selected selected right now so this two flag is selected let's cut it now just go to this flag group ctrl a to select all then press ctrl b so it is going to look like this and now it is going to it is visible like this so it is looking a bit problem here to fix that we can simply do one thing that is selecting this flag group cut it sorry not like that so selecting this and then this one so i need to select this red from here and then this red from here when these two red is selected let's make them a group now i can simply select this one so this two flag is selected cut it now i'm going to press ctrl a to select everything then press ctrl b here and it is going to be placed in the background of the design and it is looking good just a little problem here and that is in this area so for fixing that I am going to select this red color cut it now I am going to select this group this flag group and here I am going to press ctrl B okay so this is how it is looking maybe there is a little problem I need to fix that let's try to do that so this part of the flag that is a line visible here that should not be visible there so if I select this group inside that I will find this shape so this shape this shape and this okay so maybe this everything that i pasted here copy them now i need to select this red group and then open transparency for that and press ctrl f here so now it is looking good and it is done perfectly done so let's double click here to come out of the transparency so this is how you can just make it a full colorable factor design and this is the perfect way but i need i think this part is looking a bit like a simply 
what I can say this is just looking a bit empty here so let's try to do that there so maybe this is the gap here that is making the problem so I need to simply select this shape this simple ellipse here then I'm going to copy that now I want to simply press ctrl F to paste in front it is in fill color so if I make press shift X it is going to be converted into a stroke color so let's change the color so that we can see here so you can see now I have two stroke right click to ungroup them now I can right click again to ungroup again again ungroup okay so this is the option now release compound path this is what I wanted so when the compound path is released now I can simply select one of them and this is how it is looking let's create an offset path for it simple offset path but I want to make it minus direction like in this direction and that is a bit smaller in size that is perfect let's delete this part then press ctrl F here just to place it in this position now I want to make it fill just like this cut it now let's try to select my original graphic and then press ctrl B so it is going to be pasted in the background of that graphic my my original design so here I want to apply a gradient to my that shape not linear maybe a radial gradient and I can simply make it a smaller or bigger however I want it simply like this let's see how it is going to look and on this gradient shape I am going to effect apply effect and that is so this is stylize and then okay so not stylize distort and transform and this is going to be the sorry so that is maybe here this pixelate and color half tone <coughs> sorry this is the half tone style that i showed in my one of my previous videos by but i forgot anyway so this is the setting i'm going to keep it for now click ok and it is going to look like this but that is too big for my this size shape so let's do it again and this time let's make it 20 click ok and that size looks good to me but as you can see this is looking like in opposite direction so let's go back one more time here I want to change the direction of the gradient so I want to keep the center black and the side white and then I want to just change it something like this and this mask is fine for me let's apply that effect again 20 pixel was good for us and this is how it is looking so this is a half tone effect just to fill this area now that is a effect so i need to expand it and once it is expanded it becomes an image so you can see the image trace panel is here let's just make it a silhouette don't worry about this warning It can take some time because that image is being vectorized so let's expand it now I have this color half tone here let's change the color to something like this color any color you want to pick you can just make it that color I am going to make it red for now let's cut it okay not cut it let's just paste it in the background sorry not background select this shape and then press ctrl B so just in the background of this shape not the entire shape and of course for filling this area i want to make it a bit bigger in size and this is just to adjust it okay so let's not worry about this we can fix it and this is how it is looking right now and some area is coming out of that box i just want to erase some part of it and that is good i hope this will give you some advanced level idea of this kind of design so this is how it is looking and for this area it is showing like that half tone is visible through this area and i don't want it so for fixing that i am going to select this main graphic group this flag and the 
gun and a skull part everything let's create offset path for it so let's make it 10 pixel and click ok this is how what i get here let's cut it and now i am going to select my this half tone shape open transparency press ctrl f inside the transparency okay so i can simply make it unite that will become one single shape but that much is a bit bigger for us so let's try to create another offset path but this time in minus direction so something like this that is fine let's cut it okay let's do it one once again so i'm going to select this shape this flag and the skull and guns group let's create a offset path sorry not minus 10 pixel 10 pixel was a bit bigger so let's make it 5 pixel and see how it is going to look click ok cut it now select this step and inside the transparency press ctrl f so this is how it is looking and it is fine let's unite them and the reason i'm uniting as you can see there are tons of details in the graphic but that's not i need here so if i unite them that will become one single shape and it is going to be <coughs> it is just going to be a bit smaller in size so here it is showing a bit problem because we hide some part of the graphics so just we can simply make a shape here like this is the shape inside the transparency and i am erasing it so that is good and for this area don't worry about it this is not really important so let's just erase it so this is how you can make a make your graphic look like this and for this one i want to place it here so that it becomes a bit visible from that area but it is not so inside the transparency i'm going to delete everything and this is the part that is showing up here don't worry i'm just going to erase everything from here it is going to take a bit time because of that tons of graphics in here so i don't know if this is i'm going to keep it here or not okay that is looking a bit odd so let's not use that okay guys so this is how it is looking this is my final graphic and if i want if i select this blue with my magic wand tool i can simply change the color to whatever color they want so this is how it is looking and for this one i am going to make it this color okay so this is my final graphic and this is how you can colorize your design and this is the perfect way of colorizing vectors so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer them and of course if you want to download that vector for this design visit my facebook group and then find this post where i am sharing this youtube video link so that's it for today's video see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone